from Hollywood, the glamour capital of the world. Join us in a make-believe search for the most beautiful girl on earth. Yes, it's the Dollar 98 Beauty Show, an entertainment spectacular if ever there was one, where beauty is not only in the eyes of the beholder, but also on this very stage. Tonight, the Dollar 98 Beauty Show will continue its relentless spoof of all of those other so-called beauty contests. And although this is not a real contest, we will bring you our version of the all-American beauty, that one-of-a-kind girl who not only has personality and poise, but beauty and talent as well. Yes, sir, the Dollar 98 Beauty Show will be bringing you tons of talented and beautiful women every Every single week, happy women, terrified women, women singing and dancing and parading about in the latest bathing suits from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of San Tropez. And now, here's the host and star of the show, Mr. Beauty himself, Rip Taylor. Of the most exciting and beautiful beauty you've ever seen in your whole life. On this stage, waiting to find out which one will be this week's Dollar 98 Beauty. <laughs> one of which is a titillating trombonist who will not blow her, her mind, but blow your horn too. <laughs> we'll meet her and her competition right after this message. I'm choking to death. <laughs> Now, welcome back to the Dollar 98 Beauty Show. My throat's full of confetti. <laughs> Let's meet our celebrities. First of all, a lady who stars in the daytime series, The Young and Restless. Ladies and gentlemen, the gorgeous Jamie Lynn Bauer. I don't know if any other guy qualified more than any, this guy here to judge beautiful girls. The suave, debonair, slick. Mr. Peter Lawford. All right. <laughs> this next girl, oh, this girl, the singing sensation, if there ever was one, the rum and Coca-Cola, the creme de la creme, the divine Patty Andrews. All right. <laughs> and now, let's meet our candidates for the coveted title of $1.98 Beauty of the Week. First of all, here's candidate number one. Candidate number one is Molly Benson. She's 26 years old, she's single, and she is from Chicago, Illinois. Hiya, kid. You're single? Sure am. You're not ever going to get married, do you think? Not again. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The truth will out. <laughs> Here's candidate number two. Candidate number two is Kimberly Cole. She's 20 years old, single, and she's a supermarket box girl from Southgate, California. Supermarket box girl. No bags under your eyes. <laughs> I'm a bag boy myself. <laughs> oh, well, now here's candidate number three. Candidate number three is Gail Marie Monroe. She's 31 years old. She's single. And she is from Baltimore, Maryland. Right here, baby. There, there's that little old walk. How are you, darling? Fine. You comfortable and relaxed? Yes, Have sir. a good time, good luck. You're going to win. I know you are. You're a charming little girl, okay? Yes. Baltimore, Maryland. Here now is candidate number four. Candidate number four is Cindy Romo. She's 21 years old. She's single. And she's a hairdresser from Tucson, Arizona. All right. Little, little Indian ensemble here. <laughs> yeah, keep your wig warm, I bet. <laughs> Here's candidate number five. Candidate number five is Katina Garner. She's 28 years old. She's single. She is from San Francisco, California. How are you, Katina? Fine. Fine. 
Elliot, how are you? How are you? Cute little ensemble there. Let me see. Oh, all black. <laughs> thank you. Harlow so original. Honest to God. Yes. Well, I'll be gone. <laughs> Loaned to me by my sister. Yes. Thanks. Say goodnight, Gracie. Now listen. <laughs> Here's candidate number six. Candidate number six is Judy Brooks. She's 18 years old. She's single. And she's a waitress from Linwood, California. 18 years old. Got it? Have I got it? You got well, you're going to get it. Now, look here. <laughs> Give me a little out cue, baby. We'll be back now with the exciting and unpredictable talent segment of the Don Annie Beauty Show right after this message. And welcome back. It's talent time on the Dollar 98 Beauty Show. Now, this is a portion of our program where our candidates attempt to entertain us while we evaluate them for talent and originality. First of all, now, here's candidate number one, Molly Benson. Number two, Kimberly Cole. Ha ha. Now it's candidate number three, Gail Marie Monroe. again, Gail. Here is candidate number four, Cindy Romo. Don't. Don't laugh at me. 
No, I've been here all of my life. Every single day I saw him. When he left in the morning and when he came home at night, you think it's easy to turn around and say to a man that he means nothing to you anymore? Oh, no, you don't know. Rodolfo, you cannot ask me to turn around and make a stranger of him. No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I won't do it. I won't do it, no. I mean, oh, ain't it the truth? I saw the movie. Here is candidate number five, Katina Garner. could speak. And now, here's candidate number six, Judy Brooks. Once upon a time, there was una niña caprosita roja. Una día, la mamá de caprosita roja asked her to take some golasinas, si papas, si frutas to her abuela as she was very sick. So off went caprosita roja to the forest. La, 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 ha, cha, cha. Then a pente of a pop to sit out from out a tree and startle caprosita roja. Who are you? Que es lo que quieres? Yo soy un lobo muy grande y malo. Dime, caprosita, what you got in a basket? Tengo las tinas y papas y frutas y de por mi abuela, no cara habrí. Off went caprosita roja. The wolf took a shortcut and knocked on the abuela's door. ¿Quién es? cried the abuela. Es mi caprosita. And the abuela saw that it wasn't caprosita. She screamed, oh, ¿cómo que that, that lobo? The wolf stuffed her under her bed, put her cachuchita over his ears, and crawled on the cupboard. Shortly came a knock, to so quita en la puerta a la abuela. ¿Quién es? Now, we continue our search now for the Don and Beauty of the Week with the exciting bathing suit competition. Now, here, folks, stripped of all their earthly goods, to give us one last peek as they make a final bid to accumulate points for beauty and poise, are tonight's six gorgeous contestants. Here they are now. Can candidate number one, the Royal Derby vocalist, Molly Benson. Molly measures 35, 25, 35. Molly says that she has a tremendous love for horses which is probably the reason why she's been divorced twice. But her love for animals isn't as great as her love for her work. And her love for her work isn't as great as her love for prestige. 
However, Molly says prestige isn't the most important factor in her life. What is important is having respect for your fellow man. Unless he's poor, then dump the jerk immediately. That's Molly Benson from Chicago, Illinois. All right. Here again is candidate number two who gave us her rendition of Lullaby of Broadway, Kimberly Cole. Kimberly Cole measures 36, 25, 35. Kimberly considers herself a typical California girl. She likes to water ski, play tennis, ride in convertible cars, and spread cocoa butter on her toes. Her fondest wish is to eventually become a top fashion model. But while she waits for success to knock on her door, she bags groceries and puts the tomatoes on the bottom. But then Kimberly lives in Southgate, California, and the entire community of Southgate has never known in what part of the shopping bag to put their tomatoes. That's Kimberly Cole from Southgate, California. <laughs> I love tomatoes. Here is candidate number three. She'll never fall in love again. Just ask her. Gail Marie Monroe. Gail Marie Monroe won't tell us her measurements. But she says she wants to become a great gospel singer. If not a gospel singer, then a good teacher. If she can't be a good teacher, then she wants to be a great organist. If she can't become a great organist, then she'll be a terrific nurse. If not a terrific nurse, then she'll go back and become a great gospel singer again. If she can't become a great gospel singer again, then she's stuck. And she'll just have to go back to first grade and start all over. That's Gail Marie Monroe from Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you. Here's candidate number four. She was the girl with the long hair and the short monologue. <laughs> Cindy Romo. Cindy Romo measures 34, 24, 34. Being of Italian heritage, Cindy has no choice but to become a hairdresser. Her mother was a hairdresser, her father was a barber, and her grandmother was a blow dryer. Cindy says she never attended cosmetology school. She's self-taught, but gives a great deal of credit to her dog, who died recently of a scalp infection. Cindy says cutting hair is tedious work, and she likes to relax by pretending she's taller than five feet two inches. That's Cindy Romo from Tucson, Arizona. All right, here again is candidate number five, the tawny trombonist, Katina Garner. Katina Garner measures 37, 23, 37. After dropping out of East Lansing School of Samba, Katina decided to go to Mexico and make educational films. Unfortunately, her movie career came to a halt when she was caught trying to smuggle fuzzy dice across the border. Since that experience, Katina has had second thoughts about becoming an actress. She's seriously considering becoming an actor instead. That's Katina Garner from San Francisco, California. <laughs> Here again is candidate number six, the bilingual comedian, Judy Brooks. Judy Brooks measures 34, 23, 35. Judy tells us that she's always been fascinated with boxers. She had plans to marry one, but her parents broke off the engagement and gave the boxer to a good family with a big yard. A born organizer, Judy has started fan clubs for Herman and the Hermits, our Miss Brooks, and Moses. She's the type of person who's willing to take chances, and she wants to be the first person ever to cross the Pacific on a moped. That's Judy Brooks from Linwood, California. Okay. Aren't they lovely? Now, there they are, six beautiful girls. We'll be back to find out which ones did on any beauty of the week right after this message. Don't go away. Now, we'll be right back. All right. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. May I have the envelope, please? Thank you. 
Multitude is Katina Garner, the Don on the Beauty of the Week. <laughs> you win the prize. You take the king. You get the crown. And a dollar ninety-eight. You ring the bell. Marsupial. 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 Marsup